The keys are in the jacket. Someone left their keys in the gas station. The, the keys are in the apartment. Good job! In this video, I'm going to show you how to play the game Prep It. So Prep It is a game that works with many different English language learners. You can do kindergartners, you can use it with preschoolers, all the way to beginning adult English language learners. And it has 15 of the most frequently used uh, prepositions that we use, um, basically our 15 common ones in English. And on the back it has Prep It here with kind of a card image so you can see some of the different images. And so it has many prepositions like on the, in the, at the, between the, next to the. The other section I have is I also have a how to play instruction card for you. So it kind of walks you through the main basic way of how to play the card game. And then it also comes with some explainer videos. So if you want to check out some of my other links and resources for you, it comes with 45 of these images really well illustrated like the car you can take a card and say well the car is on the road so you could use the preposition on the and build a sentence that way you can also build really long sentences there's so many things you can do with the prep it deck that will help you with your english language learners or students um, or children so if you're a teacher if you're a homeschool parent uh, if you work at a school or you're an english language learner yourself this game will help you practice those sentences and phrases so you can sound more like a native English speaker and just improve your literacy and um, categorizing as well as sequencing. Especially for the younger learners in K through 12 education settings, this really helps with that sequencing. And so I'm gonna show you that right now, how one of those sentences might be formed. All right, so I have three image cards here. I have phone, chair, and table, which are just some common phrases that you, know, you see in everyday life. And I might take a preposition like on the, and I'll take an object like phone. And I can say a sentence to the students, I can say this out loud, I'll say, the phone is on the table. The phone is on the table. And they have to, you know, find the card and match it. So they might say, oh, the phone is on the table. And you can, you know, do it visually, or you can just do it as a sentence and say, the phone is on the table. Or you could say, you know, the phone and change location even, you know, the phone is on the chair or you could even have one of these other, you know, silly things like the phone is on the car. Oh no, don't drive away, you know, um, don't drive away. If, if the phone is on the car, what's going to happen, you know, and you can elicit responses from the students and learners that way. Uh, Cause if you leave your phone on the car and you drive off, goodbye phone, right? unless you're wearing, or unless you have a cool like, you know, phone case. But anyway, going back to the cards here, you can say the phone is on the chair, the phone is on the road, the phone is somewhere. And then to make it even more fun, throw in a different preposition. So you can say at the, okay, well, why would I say at the? Well, the phone is at the table, right? Because sometimes, even though it's on in English, we might even use at, like it's in the general area of the table. So I might say the phone is at the table and you can even ask students, you know, make your own phrase and then correct them to see if it's correct. Um, and you can also say another one, like the phone is between the table and the chair. So you can say the phone is between the table and the chair um, and do something like that. So that's one way to play prep it. And how do you actually do this? It's very much conversational. You do all kinds of activities like this for students and it just helps them learn vocabulary as well as sentences. Okay, so another fun way to play, the basic way to play that actually I promised you in this video, I'd show you how to play the actual version. Well, what I've done before is I've worked with my family on this and beta tested it. And what you can do is you can take all of the 45 images and you just mix them up in a pile like this. Uh, on the table, mix them up however you like, or you can leave them in a stack, but this is kind of more fun, you know, for a group. And then what you do is you have 15 of your prepositional phrases here. And then what you do with the prepositional phrases is you'll leave them in a stack nearby. And so you'll have it like this. And the first player takes the card and it says, lay out all picture cards face up. Okay, so we're doing that. Shuffle the preposition cards and lay them face up in a pile. Okay, we're doing that. Have the first player choose the top preposition card and pick two picture cards to make a phrase. So for example, I'm gonna say between the. Okay, so I drew this top card between the, and I'll say, oh, by the way, this can also be face down, this one. It doesn't always have to be face up. 
It can be upside down or face up. Either way, as long as this is in a separate pile and people can draw from it, that's great. So between them. So I will, I'm the first player. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to say, hmm, the doo -doo -doo -doo, ooh, box. I'm gonna use box and what's in the living room? Okay, um, uh, sofa. Right, so let's see, between the, the sofa is between the box and what's in my house. So I might keep digging through and find like another object or, or a person, like boy. So I'll say the sofa is between the box and the boy. So then I can even make it like this visually to help, you know, for spatial recognition. And then that person's turn is over and they get to keep the preposition card. So let's do one more turn. So I kept these cards and you keep playing until all these cards are gone. So that person used these images. You can't use the same images. The preposition is over. And now we use on the. So let's say on the, it's my turn. The next student has a turn and they say, okay, I gotta make a phrase. Um, I'm not gonna put the bathroom. Ooh, shoes, I found an object. Shoes, the shoes are on the kitchen or wall. <laughs> you can say that. Um, but there's a lot of different combinations. We, we will use floor. So you can have them dig until they find the word that they want to use. And that helps with English. So we might say, you know, the shoes are on the floor in this situation. And then I take this phrase and we'd be done. So that's, and then you just keep going around in the circle until all 15 prepositions are used. And then once all 15 of these cards are used, then you can shuffle them again, mix up the, the image cards again, and have the students practice them that way again, and just keep going until everybody's bored, or you wanna do another variation of this game. So another way we can play this game is, is another way is you can, you can organize and categorize. You can take the different objects and say places. So you can separate places from things. So let's say wall. Wall is like a thing or a person, and you can separate that as well. And parking lot, as a place and what you can do is you can lay out all of the, the places and then you can put the objects in another pile and then you can say things like the oven is in the kitchen and then what you would do is you would take you would find that card oven and you would put it in the kitchen literally I might have you know kitchen restaurant hardware store living room gas station, zoo, you can pre-select what places you wanna do depending on what you want your learners to focus on. And you can then have a stack of these object cards here over to the other side. And then you can pick one of these. Um, or you can just select which prepositional phrase you want to focus on. And so, like I said, in the is a very common prepositional phrase. And so I might use in the and say out loud as a tutor. This really works great too with one-on-one -on -one English tutoring. You can also say, okay, the oven is in the kitchen. The oven is in the kitchen. And so the student can select oven and say, oh, which one is kitchen? Oh, I don't know which one is the kitchen. Oh, I remember this vocabulary word is kitchen. So they have to learn the word that corresponds with it. So they'll say oven, kitchen. Then you can also pick other objects like, you know, the chair is in the restaurant. And so you could, using the same preposition to reinforce this, this learning concept, they can then put the chair in the restaurant, you can put it in the dining room. Depends on what you wanna say and what you wanna teach, but this does come with the 45 images with things, common things, and some of these are actually sight words. Uh, so they do fit some common core standards of sight words and then places and locations. And so that's another way to play prep it. And there are so many different ways to do this. And I actually have that in my free ebook. So if you go to my website, you'll be able to download that free ebook and get these. All right, so if you wanna get prep it for your learners and your students to have fun learning English phrases and concepts, click the link in the description below. And if this video helped you, please give me a like and subscribe. And I'll see you in a future lesson.